Steve is calling me up, but I don't want it to stop. We're going to keep it going. We just want to take a few moments to do some quick announcements. My name is Matt Hobson. I'm on staff at Word Alive as the director of Project 58 and a few other assignments. And, uh, we, and these are not just normal announcements. Because we're an apostolic center, center, everything we do is apostolic, including the announcements. So we need your help to get the word out. And so the, the first thing we want to do is just welcome what I like to call our online campus. Everybody watching around the world on the internet, on YouTube, Facebook Live, uh, welcome to the service. If this is your first time today, you're in for a treat as the gospel choir is here. Um, we want to help you with your next step, and that is uh, connecting with us, connecting you to a life of freedom. So if you'll go out in our connection right after the service, we have a free gift for you and get you to fill out some information so we can move you towards Freedom Track. That's your next step here at the church. Uh, we have an important uh, gathering on August 20th with Rick Joyner. Uh, it's Saturday night at 6 p.m. here at the church. You don't want to miss it. Help us get the word out. He'll also be here the, the Sunday right after on the 21st um, as well. But don't miss Saturday night at 6 p.m. We have a short video uh, of, of Rick's meeting here. And those of you who are watching this, are you going to be there? You need to be at these meetings. But, you know, I only take the ones that I believe that I have a specific calling to, that God's given me something specific for, for the region, for the location. But this is one of those I felt a quickening right away. I've got to be there. I'm praying that the Lord will quicken everyone that is supposed to be there. If you're not, we don't want you there. But there could be something extraordinary that you just don't want to miss. If you feel that quickening, you feel that calling, be at these Word Alive meetings. Thank you. So don't miss the, um, the 20th at 6 p.m. here at the church. Our next announcement is the Theology of Leadership course. Um, you do not want to miss Theology of Leadership. Uh, before I came on staff at Word Alive, I was a salesman for a Fortune 500 company for 15 years, and I've attended tons of leadership classes. And I can tell you that this is the best leadership course I've ever experienced. If I would have taken this the first year on staff, it would have saved me from a lot of mistakes that I made even here on staff. So uh, just like a college course, it has prerequisites. If you have not been through Freedom Track, you can't sign up for this yet. And we'll continue to offer it, but please sign up if you've already been through Freedom Track to attend the Theology of Leadership. And our, our last announcement, and certainly my favorite, as uh, getting to be part of Project 58, as an apostolic center, one of our outreaches is Project 58. And we do things, ongoing missions, all over the world throughout the year. And so we want to take just a second to show you, with your help, how we've been able to be the difference uh, just to nations. And so uh, we have a quick little video, and, uh, and if you want some more information about Project 58, there's a card on the back of your seat. You can fill out some information, or you can uh, join us or continue to join us and be in the difference around the world. So thank you. Enjoy this video. Project 58 is an important part of everything we do here at Word Alive. And we wanted to take just a moment to catch you up on what your giving to Project 58 has already accomplished so far. In February, a team from Word Alive partnered with Wine to Water and traveled to Uganda to take on the task of repairing 20 broken water wells, which provide drinking water for nearly 52,000 people. The team repaired all 20 wells in just four days. The team also trained local people to properly maintain the wells to keep them operating for years to come. During April, a Word Alive missions team traveled to Honduras with the goal of ministering to seven different communities. These small villages are rarely visited by anyone sharing good news, but this team shared the best news of all. During the 30 meetings that were held, hundreds of people turned out for the gatherings which were held in churches, backyards, and on the street. Many gave their hearts to Jesus for the first time, and many were healed as well. In addition to the spiritual needs that were met, the team also met the physical needs of these communities by distributing food and providing meals for thousands of people in the area. 
Also in Honduras, we provided a micro loan to farmers who have created a co-op to grow coffee, which is being sold under the Project 58 brand. As a result of the infusion of funds, 40 jobs have been created, two churches have been built, and pastors are being trained monthly. Already, the effort has produced over 15,000 pounds of coffee. And it's really good, too. In Huancayo, Peru, your gifts allowed us to host a Seder dinner for 35 people. It introduced these believers to a Jewish celebration they can now know and understand. We were probably the only Christian church in Peru to celebrate Passover in this very special way with these families. Also in April, Word Alive Oxford provided funds for Word Alive Tanzania to purchase land where a new church building is being constructed for the congregation there. Even though the construction has just gotten underway, the members of Word Alive Tanzania were anxious to start worshiping in their new home. So they threw up a tent and began having services right away. In India, your giving allowed Project 58 to provide funds for Pastor Barnabas to purchase a tractor to tow his water tank from village to village, providing clean water to 20 to 25,000 people every day. This has not only met the need for clean water, but has also made these communities aware that there is a good God who loves them and can also meet their spiritual needs as well. Word Alive, your generous gifts allowed us to send a donation of $10,000 to Dr. Stephen Kelly, who's a surgeon and a minister in Bangladesh. These funds will go a long way in helping to complete the hospital he's building there, where he's ministering to Muslim families in need of health care and a savior. In June, we teamed up again with Wine to Water in the Dominican Republic to provide ceramic water filters to families in poor areas where clean drinking water is badly needed. Here in the U.S., Project 58 meal packs have been distributed to Indian reservations, rehab facilities, schools, and churches where people were in need of assistance. Your help in providing these meal packs has literally helped thousands of individuals all across the country. Word Alive family, you are amazing. Together, we can be the difference. One town, one family, one child at a time. Thank you so much for continuing to support Project 58.
Hey, give me just a second before they kick off again. I, I want, hang on a second. Just a second. Woo! Listen now. Don't get caught off guard in this. This ain't entertainment. Let, let me give you a scripture about this. It says they rose up early in the morning. And they went out to the wilderness of Tekoa, and they went out. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord. Come on now, somebody. And that they should praise the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. So they, those appointed, went out before the army of the Lord. And they sang, praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and praise the Lord, the Lord set ambushes against the enemy. And when they had come out, they were defeated. This isn't just a choir here to entertain you. These are Levites appointed by the Lord who are going before the army of the Lord today. And as they begin to minister to the Lord in the beauty of his holiness, I got good news. The enemy's going to turn and start fighting each other. And demons that thought they had you are going to flee. I dare you right now, shout to the Lord. Come on.
your feet. Hit eight people, say, it's your season. Come on, get up on your feet. Slap somebody high five, say, it's your season. It's your season. God said, come on, get up on your feet. Even in the balcony, get up on your feet. Slap somebody high five. Tell them, it's your season. It's your season. Come on, it's your season. I said, it's your season. Somebody shout, it's my season.
Come on, somebody. I dare you to plead the blood right now. We don't go old school on you. We just say we don't we don't trust psychology or intellectualism. But we say we believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. And we plead the blood over our homes, over our family, over our city, over our state, over our nation. We say the blood of Jesus has paid the price for the sin of all humanity. And we are free today because of the power.
spirit fall down on me. Whatever you need, God got it. Whatever you need, he got it for you. Fall on me, Jesus. Fall on me, Jesus. I need a healing eye. I need a healing eye. I need a healing eye. us in the place that you've called us and destined us to walk. And so Holy Spirit, we thank you that that song will actually occur today, that we will leave with a fresh touch of the Spirit of God on our life, moving us to new places to arise and walk in our purpose and our destiny. So Father, we thank you for it and we praise you for it in advance. In Jesus' name, and everybody in agreement said, amen. amen. Can we give the Lord one more hand to praise today? Isn't he great? Can you get the choir and musicians let them know how much you appreciate them ministering today? I want you to turn around and find a whole bunch of people and give them a big old hug and squeeze and tell them you're glad they're here today to worship with us. Can y'all get it? Thank you, Jared. Praise God. Well, they say if that don't get you fire going, your wood's wet. Amen.